And welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric, and today people have been wanting to hear some San Francisco Giants talk. It's time to do it because pitchers and catchers report mother freaking today. Unfortunately, things are still not back to normal, which sucks. Uh, we still got the COVID thing going on, obviously. I thought, you know, last year when all this you know, was going on, it, oh, surely by 21, everything's going to be clear. I even wanted to go to spring training, was thinking about it. Obviously, that's out. There will be limited fans, but they're going to have limited movement, and they're going to be all kind of rules, and they're not going to be able to get autographs. I mean, there's just no point to try to go to Arizona right now. But at least pitchers and catchers are reporting. Games are supposed to start taking place around February 28th. And uh, this is going to be awesome if this can actually happen and get through. There are some concerns about stoppage and this and the positive tests. And I just don't want to hear all that. But it's it's just the reality of what possibly could be going on. So uh, everyone has to continue to be careful. Let's not have no positives. Let's get this spring training through. And uh, let's get to the season. And, and hopefully, you know, everything works out. But uh, for now, I'm excited that baseball is happening. Pitchers and catchers are reporting. Let's talk a little San Francisco Giants. So let's take a look at the San Francisco Giants non-roster invitees, some of the guys that are going to be in spring training, who to look for, who can make the team, who can end up getting promoted later on during the season, some of the great prospects we're going to have there, and uh, this is going to be awesome. Now, as for the pitchers, Tristan Beck. Beck was part of the deal with the Braves, sending Mark Melanson over there. We got him back with another guy who's not here anymore, but Tristan Beck. Went to San Jose in 2019, and in six starts, he had a 2.27 ERA, struck out 37 in 35.2 innings, so he looked pretty good there. Other than that, we got Tyler Sear, and he's a good-looking arm. Matt Frisbee, Sean Jella, a big, tall dude who, you know, one of our bigger pitching prospects. Kai Wei Tung, 3-0 in Augusta with a 1.55 ERA and five starts in 2019. He should get an opportunity to pitch in at least double A, maybe triple A. And if he continues to pitch well, we could be seeing him at some point. Probably not. I don't know. I would, I would guess he's more 2022. But uh, Kaiway, I mean, this dude, it, it looks pretty legit right here. So, you know, there's some prospects we don't talk about a lot who could help the Giants. You know, pretty soon. Catching, we have Patrick Bailey. He's our, you know, top pick right here. Unbelievable that we have, you know, our <laughs> former MVP, Buster Posey. Then we got Joey Bart, our Major League Ready prospect. Then we got Patrick Bailey, our new top pick. I mean, we are catching depth to a ridiculous point, and I don't know what's going to happen if someone's going to have to move positions or be traded at some point. I mean, we just have too many catching prospects, and uh, Posey's not a prospect, but we have too, but he's a freaking uh, superstar. Maybe he's not as good as he once was, obviously, but he's still Buster Posey. So we have just a ton of great-looking catchers. Ricardo Genovez, if I'm saying that right, will be here as well. Uh, Hunter Bishop, obviously another big-time first-round draft pick is going to be here. Joe McCarthy is still around. Joe McCarthy just has never put up very strong stats. I mean, he, uh, he knows how to how to uh, obviously be patient at the plate and works with walks. I mean, that's pretty much his only value. You have to still be able to hit the ball, I mean, with some kind of authority. And his batting average in the minor leagues has lately been under 200. He couldn't get it hit in the big leagues last year. And uh, I just don't know about Joe McCarthy. I mean, but, uh, you know, I don't want to hate on the guy, so we'll move on. Uh, Elliot Ramos has had a few injury issues coming up through the minor leagues, but hit 306 with 13 home runs with San Jose, went up to double A, had 95 at bats, hit 242 with three home runs, just 21 years old still, so could use some more development. Loved his swing last year in spring training. Can't wait to see Elliot Ramos. And then infielders. Marco Luciano, one of the most exciting prospects we have, could end up being an absolute superstar someday. Will Wilson, guy we picked up from the Angels, a pretty high prospect we were able to get Will Wilson from the Angels by saying, hey, we'll take Zach Cozart's contract off your hands if you'll send us Will Wilson and, you know, we'll send you some money or whatever. I mean, anyway, we got Will Wilson and Will Wilson... 15th overall pick in 2019. I mean, we have, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Not 2016, 17, no, 2019, 15th overall pick. 
Hit 339 in 2019 at North Carolina State. 16 home runs and 221 at bats. He's got bat speed. He's got power. He's got good defense. I mean, this guy, 22 years old. We have no clue what he can bring. I can't wait to see what he does. You know, he'll probably start in maybe single A or double A, but you know, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, Logan Wyatt gives us some depth at first base because obviously, you know, we have Brandon Belt. Buster Posey could be in a playing first, but you know, we need some guys in the minor leagues who can play first. And Logan Wyatt is the one. He hasn't played above A ball yet, though. Hasn't done a whole lot, but he is big, six foot four, 230 pounds. He knows how to make contact with the ball, trying to develop that power at that size. He should be able to develop some massive power with his feel for the strike zone and with his ability to put the bat on the ball. So he just needs some some more work. He just needs some full seasons in double A, triple A, and we can find out what we have with Logan Wyatt. But it will be interesting to see him in spring training anyway. Daniel Alvarez, a big guy here. He was signed to a minor league deal. Pitched great in 2019 in double A. Gave up just 41 hits in 58 innings. 76 strikeouts. Daniel Alvarez, someone to keep an eye on in spring training. Came over from the Yankees organization, and you know if you're in the, you know, in the Yankees organization, maybe they just had so much, as I talked about yesterday, they have so much depth that we were able to get Alvarez, and he could be huge for the Giants. So those are some of the younger prospect types. Let's go through guys who could actually make the team, who have big league experience, who aren't really definites to be on the team, but who could make the team, and uh, just people to look at that we have, such as Lamonte Wade Jr., who just came over recently in the trade. I wasn't, I don't love the trade with Sean Anderson, because I like Sean Anderson. I thought, you know, he has a higher ceiling than Lamonte Wade Jr., but Lamonte Wade Jr., good defense, good speed, good contact ability, he hasn't shown, you know, much power and, you know, a great batting average in his big league career. And with the Giants having Yastrzemski, Slater, Jalen Davis, Steven Duggar, and, you know, others like that, um, Dubon as well, I don't know if he'll be able to make the roster, but he's someone to keep an eye on. Jay Jackson came over in a minor league deal. He appeared with the Brewers in 2018. Looked pretty damn good. He has never completely dominated, but has struck out 51 batters in 34.2 big league innings. ERA of 4.67. I mean, it's not the worst ERA. Not great, but he's got some potential there to be a good strikeout arm out of the bullpen. Also, former Minnesota Twins pitcher Zach Little pitched from 2018 to 2020 with the Twins. He had an awful 2020, but back in 2019, he pitched in 29 games, 37 innings, 2.68 ERA, 32 strikeouts, Really nice numbers that season, and that's the pitcher that the Giants are going to be looking for. If they get the 2019 version, he could make the team and be big out of the bullpen. If he, we get the 2020 version, he's just going to get cut. So we'll have to see which Zach Little shows up. He's only 25, and you got to assume that he knows he had a terrible 2020, and he's been working hard, and he's going to be motivated this spring training to get it done for the Giants. So Zach Little's a guy to keep an eye on. So those are three guys with big league experience to keep an eye on in spring training. The Giants have options if everything comes together. If a lot of players play well, this could be a very good-looking team. I mean, obviously, we know we're in a division with the Padres and the, and, the, and the Dodgers. I mean, we know what's going on there. They have beyond proven big league talent all over their rosters, whereas the Giants have some big league talent that's been proven and then a lot of guys who are developing and we hope helps. And there's a lot of guys who are, you know, we don't know what they're going to do. So, you know, that's just how it is. But best case scenario, we could have a team that can win a lot of games. Worst case scenario, be absolutely awful. But it's spring training, so we don't think about that. We think about winning. We think about winning a World Series. That's what spring training is all about. Every team has a chance. Every team has an equal chance. That's not totally true, but that's how it is record-wise mathematically. We're all 0-0. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. I hope you're excited for baseball. I know it's weird still, and unfortunately, I couldn't be in Arizona right now. But uh, nevertheless, spring training is here. Pitchers and catchers report. Look for another preview coming tonight. Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic day. We're, and hit the subscribe button, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you so much for checking out that video. This is Eric, and if you're a fan of Hum Baby Baseball, please check out our store at humbabybaseball.com slash store. We have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have hats, and we have much more on the way, so you can check out everything we have right there, including the Umpire Strikes Back, one of our many t-shirts, so I would really appreciate if you guys could check that out. Have a fantastic day. We're going to talk to you later. When the Giants come to town